Most important of all, though, they will see what they most want to see, the productivity of Iowa's fertile farms. Now, I'd say this, Jim, if the hopes of Bob Garst materialize, Russia's boss man will see a lot of practical farming and will get to talk to some practical farmers. This is something he wants to do. He said it again and again. I don't know how fast the roly-poly 65-year-old Khrushchev can move, but uh, he'll have to be pushing every minute to see everything, and especially uh, does he want to see Iowa's corn. He referred to it a few minutes ago, Jim, you'll remember. He spoke uh, the word kukorosa. Well, that's the term for corn in Russia, and he's, he's quite concerned about seeing that. One of the major stops tomorrow will involve a 640-acre cornfield where every harvesting operation will be shown, picking, shelling, drying, chopping, and insuling. Uh, perhaps, Jim, we ought to have just a word from you now. I have some more to say about this, uh, uh, the things that he's come to see here in Iowa, but uh, let's just break, bring the folks up to date on this picture. I think as we look down Locust Street, we can see uh, not a large crowd, but a medium-sized crowd. The bulk of the crowd downtown is actually gathered around the uh, Fort Des Moines Hotel. We're watching the entrance of Fleur and uh, Locust Street, where the motorcade will very shortly travel. You can see the police cars with the red lights flashing. The crowd is being held back, barricades all along Locust Street. The motorcade is traveling, as we said, at an estimated speed of between 30 and uh, 45 miles an hour, being escorted by police motorcycle escorts, and also by the police cars we're watching right now. As they're clearing everybody back, it's a very uh, mannerly crowd, uh, no demonstrations so far, and I think as Herb mentioned, we can say that his welcome into the state of Iowa was certainly friendly but reserved, and I don't believe anything that Governor Loveless said, uh, as opposed to what apparently what some of the West Coast mayors and so forth have said, uh, would be construed as anything which might set him off. He seems to be so far in a good mood. There's no possible way you could take exception to anything that Governor Loveless said. As a matter of fact, Governor Loveless said what most of us would have liked to have said ourselves. We hope that he'll get to see some of our communities, some of our farms, our schools, our churches, and the other things that uh, we're so proud of here in Iowa. And we're watching now the beginnings of the motorcade with the city officials, civic officials, state, government leaders, and members of the official Khrushchev party with their police escorts. And ladies and gentlemen, we take you now to Dick Green at the WITV remote location at 14th and Locust. Thanks, Jim, Dick Green, and Mike Collins. And uh, we've just witnessed the first entourage coming back, getting the people back uh, from the road. And Mike, uh, they're hurrying right through here. Surely are, Dick. I hope that the uh, caravan doesn't follow the pace of these first few patrol cars that have come through. A Des Moines police car coming by. It's been interesting to note the crowds a little bit. They're very sparse up to about 15 minutes ago, and I think when the pickup ended from the airport showing uh, Premier Khrushchev leaving, all of a sudden they emerged from out of the, the walls. We have seen uh, no signs here, no protest signs whatsoever on Locust, on our vantage point uh, from 14th and Locust. Uh, still looking down Locust, waiting for the first glimpse of the official party. They've cleared the streets. But everyone back from the side, uh, we noticed right out in front of us that uh, several people standing in the street, the police car stopped and made it very plain that they were to get back and stay back there while this uh, official party went through. The crowd is, uh, has been extremely well behaved. Uh, I think if there's any attitude, it's of extreme curiosity. Now we can see the first uh, beginning at the far end of Locust, just coming off Fleur Drive of the official party, the motorcycle escort moving its way from west to east on Locust, which is ordinarily a one-way street moving in that direction. They've wasted very little time, uh, Mike, in getting uh, from the terminal, National Guard terminal downtown. Certainly the main purpose seems to be to get the premier and the party into the hotel as fast as possible. They are slowing a little bit to allow the, uh, the viewers people on the corners to get a better sight of him. Now they're moving uh, in good sight of us. In just a few seconds, they will be passing right in front of our TV cameras. The escort of the police, uh, calling for everyone to get back. And here they go by, Mr. Khrushchev, Governor Loveless, Mayor Isles. Moving uh, towards the Hotel Fort Des Moines, of course, the car driven by President Eisenhower's own personal driver. Mike, we're still looking for a glimpse of Mrs. Khrushchev. I get to see her, Dick. Uh, this is pretty important. Evidently, she was uh, fairly well behind in the procession. 
Here, uh, let's see, that's not it either. Yes, there she goes uh, by us right now. The official party, Mrs. Khrushchev. Of course, uh, the premier is already gone, and uh, as we would guess, about ready to turn and come down towards the Fort Des Moines uh, Hotel. So from our vantage point here on Locust, we're going to switch you to the KRNT TV vantage point at the Hotel Fort Des Moines and uh, come in down there. This is Len Howe of WHO TV. The uh, procession is about to turn south off Locust now on the 10th and toward the Hotel Fort Des Moines. Uh, this crowd in this area has gathered uh, uh, fairly recently. Uh, it wasn't there not too long ago, I suppose the word spread. People came out of the office buildings to see Mr. K and his arrival here in Des Moines. Now we're on 10th Street. Uh, headed toward the Fort Des Moines Hotel, where Mr. Khrushchev and his party uh, will stay. This is just a two-block stretch here, and it won't take the party very long to get to the hotel. And this is the main crowd uh, welcoming Mr. Khrushchev to Des Moines. It's uh, a bit of applauding, as you can see, but not uh, any overly enthusiastic welcome. And those signs protesting his appearance here are still there. Uh, the police tried to make those people move away, about an hour ago, but uh, the people came back. Now the party is unloading at the Fort Des Moines Hotel. Mr. Khrushchev still waving. Uh, now stepping toward the hotel. Mr. Lodge passed in front of our camera. There's Governor Lovelace. They are looking over at the multitude of people uh, on the parking ramp just across the street. Now he's uh, greeting some of the crowd nearby. He's welcome to the hotel. That's Governor Lovelace right behind him. Ambassador Lodge, the tall man. He's coming over to uh, a little closer look at some of the people waiting for him there. Mr. Lodge is explaining something to him. A very fine picture of Mr. Khrushchev here in Des Moines. There's Mrs. Khrushchev in the picture now. Uh, to your right, uh, right beside Mrs. Lovelace. There's Mrs. Lovelace. Now they're together, a wonderful picture of Mr. and Mrs. Khrushchev together outside the Hotel Fort Des Moines. She sees somebody she wants to wave to. There's a tremendous crowd just across the street from this location. Of course, the Khrushchev family is uh, in this party, and they're coming into Des Moines and unloading, while the center of attention, of course, is on Mr. Khrushchev himself and Mrs. Khrushchev. They will be staying at the Fort Des Moines Hotel. The top three floors have been reserved for this party, and Mr. Khrushchev himself will stay in the presidential suite. Uh, some presidents have stayed there, incidentally. President Hoover among them, President Truman, uh, more recently, it was occupied by Roy Rogers and his wife. This uh, is an unscheduled bit right here outside the uh, hotel. The original plan was for them to merely get out of their car and walk in, but uh, the plans change as Mr. Khrushchev moves along and decides uh, what he wants to do, too. Uh, let's uh, bring in Herb here a minute. Something about the Khrushchev family. Well, just this, uh, Len. I think it should be said that plans are also being made for Mrs. Khrushchev at uh, Coon Rapids and in that area tomorrow. At any rate, the folks there are anxious to show her some, some of the schools and some of the other activities. She is actually uh, the second wife of the Russian premier. And with them, too, are the son, uh, Sergei, uh, who is the younger son, an older one, uh, was killed uh, during World War II, 
And Sergei is only 24. He's an electronic engineer and is working in Moscow. Incidentally, a real special interest to many people is that he married a Jewish girl uh, last year. They have one son. Uh, the two daughters are also with the party. Uh, Radha, she's the elder daughter. Uh, she's probably in her early 40s, although we don't usually try to guess at the age of a lady. 